Dear Anointed Ones, Hello, and welcome back to the Anointed TV channel. Today we're diving into a topic that gets people talking, one of the most controversial holidays and celebrations Christians participate in. This holiday has its own set of questions, debates, and mixed opinions. So, let's dive into the video, and I seek your indulgence to watch how other religions view this holiday. Muslim countries celebrating Halloween a few days ago. A few days ago celebrating Halloween. Muslim country showing it to the world. And what is Halloween? It's not even something which is bid as shirk, yet pure shirk. It's sacrifice living of the dead people, worship of the dead people. This is a Muslim Ummah that people say, don't speak about this. It's right live in front of our eyes. Palestine is, is burning alive. Children are being, whatever it may be, taking place upon them. We have the money, the audacity, the time to celebrate Halloween. And then say, well, don't talk about this. We're not deaf, dumb, blind individuals. We don't bow down to no man inside our life. All human beings. Don't overpraise human beings. Don't praise people around you inside the world. They'll come and go. Praise those people who live to the truth. Who died upon the truth. That's the Prophet alayhi salam. That's our good example of how he strove, where he sacrificed for his life and his companions to where we are today and what we're doing with his sunnah and his teachings of the Prophet alayhi salatu salam. Muslims are found to be very passionate about their beliefs and will do anything to show their detest and call out anyone who goes against them. Today, let's look into the history of Halloween and answer a big question. Should Christians celebrate Halloween? Should Christians celebrate Halloween? Yes. Should Christians celebrate Halloween? Is it going against biblical teachings? Grab some popcorn, maybe a pumpkin, spice latte, and let's explore the origins and meanings and listen to different Christian perspectives on Halloween. Listen to this pro-Halloween Christians. Here's a rational Christian take on Halloween. Let me ask you a couple questions. If someone opens presents on December 25th, does that mean that they're an ally of Christianity or they worship Jesus? No. If a kid does an egg hunt on Easter, does that mean that he's worshiping God or he's an ally of Christianity? No. So if a kid wants to dress up as a superhero or a princess and get candy from their neighbors on Halloween, does that mean that they're worshiping Satan? No. Now I'm not saying it's okay to go dress up as a demon and partake in things of darkness, but I'm just saying let's look at Halloween for what it actually is. A Catholic holiday that was celebrated as such up until the 1960s when Satanists all of a sudden said, hey, we want that holiday now, and the church basically said, okay. So let me ask you another question. If all the Satanists in the world came together and made a public declaration and said, hey, December 25th is our holiday now and that's dedicated to the devil, would you still celebrate Christmas? I know I would. And yet that's the same exact thing that's happened to Halloween. It's never belonged to Satanists. And just because an ex-Satanist says so doesn't mean that that's the truth. Just because an ex-Satanist says that dressing up on Halloween is worshiping the devil doesn't mean that that's true. That's an argument fallacy that's called an appeal to authority. Because they don't have the authority to make such claims in the first place. Now there are many Christians that I know that disagree with me on this topic. And I honor and I respect them because this is an open-handed issue. It doesn't affect our salvation. So whichever way your conviction leads you whether that's partaking in Halloween or not trust that be confident in it but let's stop calling everybody heretics and false prophets if they disagree with us Halloween's history um, it has both pagan and Christian background it, it was started uh, by I believe the the Celts and then the Romans took it and kind of made it their own even as Christendom began to uh, shape and take form uh, and so if you don't want to celebrate the holiday just your conscience is pricked and this is just not for you then man I just want to encourage you don't celebrate it um, but if, if your conscience is clear and, and you're free, I would say there's probably some pretty simple guidelines that, that we'd kind of pull from uh, 1 Corinthians 8. The, the first would be, man, we, we certainly don't want to be a part of any aspect of it that would be ungodly. So we don't want to dress uh, in a way that's inappropriate, whether that be uh, kind of evil and demonic or whether that be sultry and sensual. We, we, we don't want to play in that space. It is evident that some Christians see Halloween today as mostly a secular event and choose to celebrate it in a way that's fun and family-friendly. Many see it as a harmless way to spend time with family, engage in their communities, and create memories. Some churches even host trunk-or-treat events, where families gather in a parking lot, decorate their car trunks, and hand out candy. It's a safe, friendly way for kids to enjoy Halloween without the scary or dark elements. However, some Christians choose not to celebrate Halloween for some reasons. First, there's the connection to Samhain, a pagan festival that's focused on spirits, darkness, and what some feel is too close to the occult. 
Some Christians are concerned about Halloween's focus on fear, death, and evil imagery, seeing it as out of line with biblical teachings about living in the light and rejecting darkness. Did you know the history behind Halloween? It originated from an ancient Celtic festival called Samhain, which celebrated the end of the harvest and the start of winter. The Celts believed that on October 31st, the boundary between the living and the dead became blurred, and spirits could cross over. To ward off evil spirits, they lit bonfires and wore costumes. Later, Roman and Christian influences added new elements to the festival, such as Feralia, a day to honor the dead, and Pomona, a goddess of fruit and trees. In the 7th century, the church designated November 1st as All Saints Day, and October 31st became All Hallows' Eve, or Halloween. Irish and Scottish immigrants brought Halloween to North America in the 19th century, where it evolved into a secular holiday with traditions like trick or treating, costume parties, and jack-o'-lanterns. So, with that in mind, let us hear different perspectives on why we shouldn't celebrate Halloween. Listen to this discourse with an open mind and you can share your thoughts in the comment sections. Also, consider subscribing and let's grow this channel together for God's glory. Let's begin by listening to John MacArthur, Albert Moeller, and Matthew Hagee. But do you think Christians should uh, celebrate Halloween? Do I? <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no. Uh, it's just ridiculous. What is, I agree it, what is it about? It's just a bunch of. It feels more demonic every every year, and 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 you know they they start pumping out all these books and all these movies and all these television programs that are just s satanic. Should Christians celebrate Halloween? I've got an easy categorical answer to that. I think the answer is no. I've done many radio programs on this just about once a year uh, on the briefing. I address this. I do not mean by that that your children can't dress up as cowboys and Indians and, and uh, firemen and policemen and, uh, and princesses and go ask people for candy. That's a, that, that's a different thing. But we cannot celebrate Halloween, which is, after all, a celebration of paganism and is deeply, deeply, and I mean centuries long, rooted in a cult practice. Should Christians celebrate Halloween? When you look at almost every holiday on the calendar, there is a variation of that holiday that is paganism in its origin. There's a pagan root in Christmas traditions. Jeremiah talks about not decorating a tree or worshiping a tree as people did as false religion in his day. There's a pagan root to Easter where you have the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That goes all the way back to the book of Genesis. And there's a pagan root in Halloween that indeed opens up doors to supernatural things that certainly no Christian would celebrate. Does that mean that a Christian should run and hide in fear from Halloween? Absolutely not. Why? Because our God is the light of the world. He's not the God of darkness. He's the God who took the light of His love and conquered darkness. No. Don't celebrate Halloween, but don't be afraid to get together with friends and family and enjoy good company on October the 31st. There is no day of the devil. The devil's defeated. The Bible in Ephesians 5.11 says, Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. From its history, Halloween was celebrated to avoid bad spirits and protect their homes. They'd light massive bonfires, dress up in costumes, and even leave out food as offerings. This doesn't align with Christian values, so Christians should avoid it altogether. Whenever I say the devil's holiday, this is what I mean. Witches, warlocks, Satanists utilize Halloween as their new year. When you research what Halloween is for that side, for them, the kingdom of darkness, it's their new year. When you look at John Ramirez's testimony, he used to be a powerful warlock for years, got married on Halloween, had a blood sacrifices on Halloween. Listen to his testimony. Jenny Weaver used to be a witch, a, a high-ranking practicing witch, did a lot of things on Halloween. Why Halloween? Because they believe the veil between the spirit realm and the physical realm is thin. And then they also wait for the full moon to occur on the month of October. So not only is the, the spiritual realm 
and the physical realm thinned, they wait for the full moon to take place because witches and warlocks believe that when the full moon is 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 uh is showing and shining, it gives their spells, it gives their sacrifices more power. And they believe that. And so we now now they don't only believe it, there is a a understanding to the dark side of that stuff. Right. There's a realness to that stuff. I'm not just about, I'm not about to be one of those Christians just say everything don't work except for God. That's not the case at all. Exactly. Exactly. You're trespassing, meaning you're entering into the spiritual realm without permission or the wrong way. You're those people that are hopping over the pen rather than going through the door. Right. That Jesus was taught. He said, I'm the door. Right. If you're not going through the door, you're entering the wrong way. You're 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 not supposed to enter that way. So. Exactly. So you're they're doing all of these things and celebrating their new year. You don't see witches and warlock coming to celebrate Rosh Hashanah, which is the Jew, uh, uh, Jewish new year. You don't. They, yeah, they may celebrate um, our regular new year. You know what I'm saying? They, they're not coming to Good Friday, they're not coming to Resurrection Sunday unless unless they have an assignment in your church. You know what I'm saying? But even then, they should be exposed. Even then, they should be rebuked, corrected and delivered yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying to to exactly to to exactly and partake in that and so it, it's it's something that it makes me a little upset that those that call themselves christians don't act like christians we don't negotiate with the enemy it's like people celebrate halloween right i'm gonna be the, i'm gonna be the little mermaid the marine spirit that's what you're gonna be a water spirit you're gonna change your identity for one night open doors and gateways and portals now the devil own legal rights because you open the door because you want to dress a little area i dress like the crab guy yeah marine spirit too and we dress like these things and we, we we become these things and we become part of an identity that is dead but you don't hear then you don't hear satanists oh i can't wait for good friday to go to church I can't wait i'm gonna take off my black clothes i'm gonna iron it i'm do my nails in black you know i can't wait to go over there and sing hallelujah because they fear the devil more than we fear god pastor we were talking in the car he said something to me that brought revelation and i'm gonna bring it to you i didn't say it in the last services see the devil has power but he doesn't have the right power against the right believer that is john ramirez an ex-satanist warning christians against celebrating halloween in our quest to reach out to the lost we should be careful to not be like them by adopting their customs and traditions Anton LaVey, the founder of the Church of Satan, once said, I'm glad that Christian parents let their children worship the devil at least one night out of the year. Do not do it. So, when there are temptations to participate due to, to the fear of missing out. Here are three questions you should ask yourself and more reasons why you shouldn't celebrate Halloween. Three questions before making the choice of whether we're going to participate in Halloween activities or not. First question, ask yourself is does this activity dishonor Jesus? 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. It says that in all that we do, we are to do it to the glory of God. So if the activity you're getting ready to do on Halloween, if it dishonors the Lord, you must avoid it. Question number two to ask yourself, does this activity violate your conscience? Romans chapter 14, verse 23. It says that if you violate your conscience, it is sin. So again, if the activity you're getting ready to do on Halloween, if it violates your conscience, you must avoid it. And number three, does this activity cause others to stumble? Romans chapter 14, verses 13 through 23 says that we should never be a stumbling block for weaker brothers or sisters. So again, if the activity you're getting ready to do if it causes someone else to stumble, you must avoid it. So think about that. Clearly, if you answered yes to either one, two, or three of those questions, then you should not be participating in Halloween activities. Should Christians celebrate Halloween? Well, a few things we need to keep in mind. One of them is the origins of Halloween are pagan. Secondly, is that Halloween means more than candy and customs to those in witchcraft. Wiccans have eight holidays with Halloween being the main one. Many people who were involved in witchcraft say that Halloween is very significant to them and that should kind of give us a warning. Thirdly is Halloween has not been redeemed for God. It's darker today than before. Yes, the church had a practice of redeeming certain holidays, but since then till now, 
has there been more Christian customs on Halloween? No, Halloween is more darker, more death, more fear, not less. We're not changing it, it's changing us. The paganism and witchcraft is on a rise, not decline in our culture. The fourth thing is celebrating Halloween is conforming to this culture. If you don't celebrate Halloween, the world will think you're crazy, you're weird, you don't have fun. We're called to change the culture, not conform to the culture. Daniel didn't bow to the idols of his day to fit into the Babylonian culture. While we engage in our culture, we are commanded by the scripture not to imitate the culture. Fifthly, Halloween promotes death, darkness and fear, all contrary to the scripture. Scripture promotes light, Scripture promotes life, and Scripture promotes faith. Lastly, Halloween is having fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness. Because activities people engage in while celebrating Halloween don't honor God. Dressing up like a demon or a stripper is not pleasing to God. A lot of ungodly activities take place on that night. People getting drunk, partying, and using drugs. Satanists don't celebrate Good Friday. Therefore, we owe nothing to this culture to celebrate Halloween. Those that, now, now imagine this, all right, you call yourself Christian. Christian means Christ-like, to be like Christ, right? To be like Christ. So let's take yourself outside of your, your own understanding and let's put you in a scenario. If Jesus was here in 2024, in the flesh, he's here regardless, but if he was here in the flesh the same way he was, whenever he was on the cross, the same way he was before the cross. If he was here in the flesh, do you think he would be dressing up for Halloween or do you think that he would be going in to those places of darkness, casting out demons, delivering and healing people and preaching the gospel and bringing light to every dark place? I'm talking to the churches that want to celebrate trunk or treat. Uh, it sounds better when you say trunk instead of trick, huh? Mm -hmm. The trick is still on you. The joke's still on <laughs> The joke's... <laughs> the joke's still on you. The joke's still on you. You're still celebrating. You're still advocating for the kingdom of darkness, agreeing with kids, changing their identity to come and 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 get candy and treats and stuff like that. And what you're doing is this goes back to what we talked about. Your your the Bible that Jesus said it's better for a millstone to be tied around your neck and you be thrown into the sea than for you to make one of these little ones stumble and fall. So you're advocating for the kingdom of darkness, passing on the tradition of, of, of a demonic holiday and disguising it as okay because you're holding trunk or treat at a church. He said, if you're lukewarm, I'll spit you out of my mouth. The Bible doesn't mention Halloween specifically, so Christians often look to broader principles when deciding. One key verse many Christians consider is 1 Corinthians 10 31, which says, So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. In other words, if you're going to celebrate Halloween, some say it's important to do it in a way that honors your beliefs. Then there's Romans 14, which encourages believers to make their own decisions in matters where Scripture isn't explicit. So, should Christians celebrate Halloween? The truth is, it's a personal choice that each person has to make based on their convictions, comfort, and understanding of biblical teachings. If you're a Christian wondering what to do, consider the thoughts shared in this video. Take some time to think about your values, pray, and maybe even discuss it with family or your church community. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more content exploring history, faith, and culture. And let us know in the comments. Do you celebrate Halloween? Why or why not? We'd love to hear your thoughts. And we'll see you in the next video. I leave you with another perspective to conclude this conversation for now. God bless you. You should not be celebrating Halloween as a Christian, period, point blank. I don't care how you try to mix it up and make it seem innocent or, oh, it's okay. The kids are just wearing innocent costumes. It's, they're bumblebees, they're princesses. Stop celebrating it. This is definitely a holiday that Satanists and even witches have came out and said that this month is full of spells. It is full of evil. The devil is thriving during this month and definitely during Halloween. This is definitely a day that people have openly came out and said that they are happy that people celebrate who worship the devil. 
I seen a video of a Satanist saying that he is happy and pleased that parents let their children celebrate and worship the devil once a year. But y'all, the devil does not care about vulnerability at all. Like he does not care that your child is four years old. That is actually an open invite for him, especially knowing that you're allowing your child to be out and about celebrating something so evil. If you actually look, just go look at Halloween, you know, decorations and all that. Look at that stuff. Look how evil it is. Like, actually look at it. Nobody should be celebrating Halloween, honestly. It's full of evil. It's full of spells. It's full of witchcraft. It's full of it. There's people who literally practice these things telling you. They tell you that during this month, this is when spells are increased. This is when evil things are increased. This is when the devil is thriving. This is when demons are thriving. You're walking around looking at people in costumes. You're seeing all these evil things. And nine times out of 10, you might actually be looking at something that's actually real in front of you. You might be like, oh, that's a freaky costume. Like how you see in movies? Nah, in reality, that's real. That's really standing in front of you. You might actually be looking at a demon face to face and you're thinking it's somebody in a costume. Like stop celebrating this stuff. Have your kids on Halloween night watching PBS Kids, truly. Be around your family, have a prayer night, do a Bible study, if anything, but stop celebrating Halloween because as Christians, you shouldn't be attending a church that even has people dressing up because these pastors know that this time of month is evil. So for a church to actually be letting children dress up and wear costumes and all that, they need to be questioned, period. Because a real church of God is not gonna be celebrating Halloween, period. I don't care how you try to mix it. Oh, my church is a good, no. You, they shouldn't be doing that, period. And y'all gonna be like, oh, you're being judgmental. No, I'm being real. These churches be allowing stuff and being a part of the world. So just think about that when Halloween comes.